Hey guys, it's Everton fan 77 here today, and I'll be bringing you episode 6 in preparing for Derby County career mode. Now, in today's episode, we're looking at three players. We will be looking at Philippe Hollander, uh, Terence Boyd, and Alexandro from Santos. So, those three players are uh, three potential transfer targets we'll be looking at. Um, Alexandro and Terence Boyd are both strikers, and Philippe Hollander is a defender. And so, yeah, in this episode, we'll be looking at those players. And basically, what we're doing right now is narrowing down the short list of transfers we'll be looking at so we can come prepared for FIFA 14 uh, when the transfer window hits. And uh, these three players uh, kind of fit into the criteria we are looking at at Derby County for some of our um, either backup players, potential first team players, future first team players, or definite starters. And we'll be looking at a few different types in, the, in this um, preparing for Derby County career mode series. And these three players are three potential transfer targets we'll be looking at. And depending on their uh, performance, uh, we'll decide whether they make it onto the shortlist. And I'll be showing the shortlist in the next episode. But anyway, moving on, we have Terence Boyd first off here. 21 years of age from the United States. Now, he's got some pretty neat stats. But while the stats are showing up on here, I just want to uh, basically talk about why I chose him. Uh, first, uh, first and only reason is his nationality. He is from the United States of America. Now, uh, lo a lot of football fans actually take the piss out of America and the MLS, uh, really bagging it out. But it is definitely a growing, a growing game in America, and no one can deny um, that it is growing. And I think America, in years to come, um, not necessarily in the near future, but maybe pushing on to about 2030, 2040, could actually be real World Cup contenders. And Terence Boyd um, is an example of that. And while I'm spending time at Derby County, I want to produce American talent and uh, produce some really uh, quality American players to help the development there. And Terence Boyd could be a potential option to do that. I am also looking to scout in America. Anyway, moving on, uh, there wasn't much action to show in the game. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen this series before, what happens is I play a game of world class and I show some of the highlights of the players and I also play against a similar opposition to what the team is and he's playing for SK um, Rappin I think it is something like that uh, from the Austrian league uh, I'm not too familiar with some of the Austrian teams there but he really didn't have too much to show a uh, quite a big disappointment um, didn't really get that involved he got a 7.1 match rating which is uh, quite decent of course and scored a penalty in his shootout but really didn't get that many shots uh, didn't get many shots away and wasn't oh, excuse me wasn't re a real threat in front of goal but anyway into the analysis his star rating three out of five uh, as I said before quite disappointing they didn't get many shots but he still had a solid game get got a 7.1 match rating I think maybe if he had different work rates it could have been a different story because um, quite often he actually wasn't there in attack from being in defense, versatility low, he can only play striker, vacancy in his position, uh, not much, we only have about one slot left for striker, room for growth a lot, he's 21 years of age, price 1.1 million, that was his market value on FIFA 13, uh, we'll have to see whether that rises or declines on FIFA 14, and his wage on FIFA 13 is 3k, and like for the um, similar to the price, we'll have to wait and see whether that will rise or decline. But that's Terence Boyd there. Now moving on to the next one, we have Alexandro from Santos. Um, now this one might be a bit of a surprise because we don't really go for too many old players on career mode, but he's 31 years of age and he actually fits the criteria we need really well because with Derby County, uh, we're looking to start off by playing with a lone striker. I think it was a, f not quite a 4-5-1 maybe. A yeah, I think it was a 4-5-1 actually. And we need a lone striker. Now, yeah, um, Johnny Russell's a great player. Obviously, he's got fantastic pace, and he's going to be a real threat up front. But Alexandro has something which Johnny Russell doesn't have quite as well. It is the aerial threat, 80 heading accuracy. He has a lot of experience. And look at those all-round stats, uh, 76 finishing as well. He can be a real target man up there, and we can give him some good service. And I think Alexandro uh, will really uh, thrive at Derby County if we could pick him up. Uh, according to his stats, that is, we, of course, have to wait to see how he plays in the game. But this is him here, yeah. Uh, he looks really tank here, but um, in real life, he actually doesn't look quite that tank. Uh, but anyway, moving on uh, into the games. Um, so first off, um, we're playing against Diego Forlan's team. I'm still not, I think it's Internacional or something. But yeah, Diego Forlan's team. 
and we went 1-0 down. Alexandro responded really well and got us an equaliser, scoring a great goal. Bernard's going to chip one in here, uh, trying to show a bit of Alexandro's aerial, uh, aerial ability. Unfortunately, uh, the header was quite weak and it just went straight to the keeper. But then again, it was a very hard header to get power off. Uh, he had another great shot here, a lot of power behind it, but unfortunately didn't make the best contact and it went wide. Alexandro is going to have another dig here from outside the box, and that is a great finish straight into the bottom corner. That is what I'm talking about, our target man. And look at this for a penalty. Bang, straight into the top corner. I think Alexandro would be a great signing. Just He had such a good game, 9.4 match rating, and he really um, proved my hypothesis right, saying that he'd be a great target man, and he was fantastic in the game. His star rating would be a four and a half out of four and a half star rating. It was brilliant. The only reason why I would take any um, any rating off any star rating off him is uh, yeah, he lacked that killer pace. Uh, paces and everything on FIFA uh, definitely is overpowered and helps a lot. And he just missed that killer instinct, uh, killer not killer instinct, uh, this that killer edge of pace which the top strikers have. And unfortunately, that's why I'm going to have to take uh, half a star off him. But other than that, he was terrific. Versatility low, he can only play in striker. Vacancy in his position, uh, like previously, um, there's only about one or two slots left maybe. Uh, two would be really pushing it. Room for growth, none. He's 31 years of age. Price on FIFA 13 is 1.2 million. He'll be a year older, so it'll be 32, which means his value should go down. Hopefully, it can go down to about 1 mil, uh, maybe breaking that. And his wage was quite heavy at 7k. Uh, that's going to be hard to afford at Derby County. Hopefully, that goes down as well on FIFA, third, FIFA 14. Anyway, moving on, we have Philippe Hollander from Malmo. Now, this centre-back seems like a bit of an unusual choice. When you go for centre-backs, you want to be looking for at least 65 pace and beyond. And now, I've actually chosen one with 50 pace, and you may be wondering... Um, why are you doing this? You don't have the fast. You don't have um, fast centre backs at Derby County. Why are you going for this guy? This guy had pretty. Uh, his, his stats weren't that impressive as well. But look at that. Six foot three, uh, nineteen years of age, and he's quite good in the air as well. Not amazing, but he's still uh, pretty solid. And he'd be a, he'd be the real rock at the back while we have our other uh, faster back moving around. So that's Philander there. Look at that height again. Now straight off into the game, he gets an opportunity to show his defensive play and tackles Denver Bar to uh, win back possession for Malmo. But unfortunately, after conceding two goals, uh, he was he had, he had a lot of pressure on him. Also, I actually changed this game to legendary uh, pretty much like I did for one of the keepers as well. I changed it to legendary. So the attacking uh, the, the the attackers will put more pressure on the defense, forcing him to uh, get to get a, to, def to defend a lot more. I didn't really work that well, but I've changed it to le uh, legendary so he'd get more action in the defense, uh, and he proved to be all right. Uh, in, in the opening stages, he looked a bit shaky, but towards the end of the match, he played really well. Picked up a 7.2 match rating. I'd ever give him a 7.5 and above. I was actually really impressed with how he played. Um, out there, I was quite impressed. I don't think the match rating really showed how well he played. Moving on to the analysis, his star rating is in between three and a half star and four star. I honestly can't really give um, I, 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 three three and a half would seem a bit low, but four would probably seem a bit high. So it's anywhere in between there. Uh, versatility low. Uh, he's a slow centre back, so he's obviously not going to be able to play in many other positions. Vacancy in his position, um, there's, a, there's a bit, I think, because I'm looking to sell off a few centre-backs, I'll shuffle around the positions a bit, um, but there's not a heap, uh, mainly we're looking at wing-backs um, on the left-hand side, that has a lot of, a lot of vacancy there. Uh, room for growth, a lot, he is 19 years of age, well, on FIFA 14, he'll be 20, uh, so still a lot of room, another 6 or 7 years till he hits his peak, hits his peak. Uh, price, 825k, uh, that's not bad, but it's still pushing it a bit, um, and yeah, I, I would only fork out that kind of money for a four and a half star and above. So I don't think he'll make the shortlist, but I'm definitely going to keep him in mind. Uh, he performed pretty well and his wage was a 4K as well. So um, yeah, it, was it, wait, was it, yeah, 4K. <laughs> uh, my screen just like blacked out for a second. So yeah, um, this has been Everton Fan 77. I hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. Uh, let me know for any transfer targets uh, you want me to look at because I really want to look at uh, the, the subscriber suggestions uh, for transfer targets as well and any general suggestions um, and any changes you'd have to the formation. Um, and yeah, this has been Amazon Fan 77 I hope you liked this video. As I said before, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you have a nice day.